up welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel you already know what it is you already know what it was and you already know what it will be so if you're new to the channel hello basically on my channel we just do the randomest shit okay y'all i'm open to any suggestions you know but your girl will never run out of ideas like i can make youtube videos for days okay like there's nothing that i can't talk about that i can't show that i can't review that i can't tutorial your girl can do it all okay so your girl's got you but I love this because it just feels like we're, like, friends, y'all. Like, a lot of y'all will DM me in my, like, on Instagram because that's where I usually will, like, answer messages. And it's, like, a bunch of little internet friends. Like, I love it. I literally love it. That's why I love YouTube. Like, you meet people from all over. So, hi, welcome. If you're a hater, we're doing good over here, girl. So, we're doing great over here. So, yeah. And if I don't respond, like, sometimes, like, I can't, like, I don't see it. Um, like this one girl, she DM, like she DM'd me and I guess I didn't reply because like I didn't see it. And she like, um, come to on my Instagram to remind me to check my DMs and I did. So I was like, oh, girl, I love it. I love it. I love the support. So I went to London Drugs today, y'all, and I never usually go there, but I was like looking around, like they have such exotic things. Like they have the craziest of crazy things like not that crazy but like you know just different like not the typical walmart you know dollar store grocery shit <laughs> i'm just kidding i don't get my groceries at the dollar store like the haters want to think but you know what they can think what they want <laughs> the dollar tree bitch okay so for the items i'll just i'm gonna try the different snacks that i got i got a few different ones and I'm going to try it out for y'all and we're going to rate them and see how they are. And yeah. So first things first that I want to show y'all. Right, some new stuff. Where's my conditioner? Okay, first of all, I got this conditioner today, y'all, because it was on sale for like $9. I was like, okay, that's not bad. And like, I've always seen this. I've tried this one time. It smelled so good. I remember this being like my favorite that I've ever used. It was so good. But like on TikTok and like other places, like I heard that this is like not a good one. Like people are like, oh, like this might make you lose your hair or whatever. Like not lose it, but I can't remember. This brand better not come for me. I'm not saying that it's true. It's what I heard, okay? So... And I just remember really loving this one. So I was like, I, I bought it. It was on sale. And I tried to look really quick on TikTok to see, like, the reviews and stuff. And, like, if this is a good one or not. And, like, some people liked this. Some people didn't. Like, what do y'all think? Is this a good one or not? Like, I don't know. If there is any good conditioners, I know the Shea Moisturizer Conditioner is really good in the orange bottle. That's the one I'm going to get next because everyone said good things about this that one. Um, Because there's no, like, sulfates, I think it is. Or, like, paraffins or whatever the Rick, you know but i just was like hey whatever i'm gonna try it if it ruins my hair you know girl pff, used to put trust my pantene all that shit on so like this can't do that much worse so this will be the last bad conditioner like cheap conditioner i buy next one i'm gonna buy is that shea moisturizer one because i bought an expensive shampoo y'all the olaplex one and honestly i'm disappointed with it because it doesn't smell good it just smells like regular like doesn't smell bad but i like the one that smells so good like like this one smells so good the shea moisturizer is a papaya one so i think i'll love that like i want the ones that smell really good because i like my hair smelling so good like the other one wasn't making my hair smell good so like you know what i mean it'll yeah it just wasn't for me anyway so i also got this duo glue y'all because i wanted to try another duo glue i know i just bought this one but like like i said i don't like the applicators for these ones so i just sucked it up and got the white one in the tube so this is the only one i can find now of the tubed ones so you can never have too much ash glue because you know you're gonna be running out all right okay and then also i did get this this is like my favorite purchase this is the non-snack purchase okay i found this in there you guys I don't know. I have a serious issue of impulsive buying. I did not need this, but I wanted it so bad. I felt it was so soft and they had different colors. This is the last gray one. There was another like turquoise blue one and like a beige, I think. And yeah, but this is the last one of this one. I was like, yes, this was $49.99 y'all, but it was on sale for $24.99. I saw a sale. I saw it was cute, comfy. Like I grabbed that shit so quick. I was like, mm hmm, I don't care. I'm getting it so oh i'm gonna wear this around the house like i know it's kind of like 
I think it's super cute. Okay, let me show you. I also got these cute sweats. Anyway, so let me try and take this off for now. Okay. This is will be so cute. Like my mom, because I was shopping with my mom, she was like, don't get another blanket. I have lots of blankets. And I was like, I'm not getting a blanket. I'm getting a nice, I was like, it's a sweater. She's like, oh, because it looks like a blanket. I'm like, this is perfect because I'm always cold. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like, honestly, I thought it was ugly at first. I was like, it's ugly, but no, this is cute. Oh my god, this is so cute. Like, I love this. Oh my god. This is adorable. This is so cute. Like, y'all, get on this. Like, get on it for real. Like, uh, non-sponsored, but oh my god, this is so cute and so warm. I'm going to be wearing this around the house all the time. Anyway, and it was expect. This is so soft, I'm telling you. Like, it's so soft. Like, a little fuzzy blanket. Like, I get why it was $50. I would have never bought this for $50. Hell no, but $24.99, you got me. I'm going to keep it on. Yeah. Okay, so. The first thing, we're going to try something basic. I've tried these before, I'm pretty sure. Sea salt and pepper chips. I'm going to open all of them. I know that you're not really supposed to do that because then they'll, like, go stale if you don't eat them right away. But your girl's gonna eat them right away. So, whatever. I'm doing this for y'all. If they go stale, then... No. I'm gonna eat them right away. I can fit... Like, if I open one of these, the whole bag will be gone, y'all. And I'll just, like... I'll just do that thing where I go like this. I don't have those clips, but that's fine. Anyway. Okay, let's try... Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Anything sea salted is like my favorite. I love that. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Mm hmm. Can't beat that. I loved it. Maybe if they put a little more salt on it, because I'm just like salty person addict like i love putting salt on shit i don't know okay this next one is the sweet ghost pepper this one is avocado oil and ghost pepper so i like spicy chips now like i'm getting really more into spicy stuff like i do like that. so like i really wish i was like latina or something no, like that and i am I love being mixed though. Like those are my two favorite, Latina and mix. And like I just so happen to be mixed, so thank you. Okay. Cause you know, culture. I I love the Latina culture. Like they're dancing, their food. I have enchiladas in the freezer, y'all. Like I'm not really a big fan of the music because like I don't really understand it. And I like rap and trap, but I'm trying to embrace it a little bit more. Mm. Oh, it is a bit spicy. And also my boyfriend's brown, so I'm trying to get more into like the spicy shit, you know. Gotta be on his level. I'm trying to be that wife, you know. Yeah, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. Those are so, oh, <laughs> spicy. I need some water. <coughs> this was just sitting on my dresser. I'm sure it's fine. I know I use this one for my beauty blenders, so can't mix those up, but that one doesn't have a lid, so. All right. Oh, yeah, that one is a spicy. I do recommend eating those with water or a drink for sure. I still feel it in my mouth. But those are good. Honestly, 10 out of 10 for those ones. They both go both ways. Like, the sea salt ones are good. But these ones are super good. Like, I almost like those almost more. But they were really good. Okay, now here's the things I've never even, like, heard of before. 
So these ones, I don't know how I feel about chickpeas, y'all. I've never had dried chickpeas. I've only had, like, I've tried the wet ones, obviously. Or maybe those chickpeas, are those gambanzo beans? I don't know. What's the difference? I don't know my beans very well, y'all. Anyway, I saw these. I was like, this is so cool. Uh, chickpeas. Roasted chickpeas. Okay. And these are the sea salt and lime. And I, I've had corn nuts before. I really like corn nuts. So I was like, mm, these will probably have a similar feel to them. So we'll try. I got this in the vegan section. So that's cool. Um, there was also another flavor. These are what they look like on the inside. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they had another flavor. It was uh, barbecue. I'm not a big fan of the barbecue flavor, but I feel like it, it would be good chickpeas. I almost bought it and I was like, eh, I don't really like barbecue. And I saw these, I was like, mm. okay, let's try. Mmm. They're very seasoned, which I love. Like, mmm. I don't know how I feel about those. I do like them though. Like I would enjoy eating them. I might even buy them again, but I don't like the after chickpea taste. Like you do taste the chickpea afterwards. And I'm not a big fan of chickpeas, but the seasoning on this is so good. Like if that seasoning was on a chip, like salt and pepper lime chip or something, that would be really good. But yeah, no, I really like these. Um, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10 because like I still feel like the pieces like are harder to swallow. I would do this one with water too, but yeah, no, this is good. Okay, so now this is the last one, y'all. These, I've had seaweed before. I was like, okay, seaweed, you know, regular, regular thing. But then I saw that this one is uh, like crispy, spicy flavor you know, with the pepper picture on it. I was like, okay, I've never tried like spicy seaweed. So let's try that. So this is a gluten-free, yeah, gluten-free too. So that's good. Okay. So far, all of them are really good. Thank God, because they were expensive, y'all. And I was like, okay, yeah, right away that seaweed smell. If you're not a fish person, you don't like seaweed, they smell, oh my God, they're thick. Okay, so you know the ones that you used to get in the tray, like, for lunches and stuff? These ones are super thick. And, like, oh, those are heavy. They just dropped it. Okay, so look how thick. Like, these are super thick. Like, did you hear that? It, like, broke off, like, the thickness. Thick. I've never had thick seaweed. Mmm. These are not spicy. Like, they're a little bit spicy, but not as much as the chips. But these taste so good. I love how thick they, like, thick they are. Honestly, I'm going to go back for these. Like, these are something I will crave. And there was another flavor of these, too. Like, I think there's a regular one, and there was, like, something else, I think. But I want to... Yeah, I think it was just regular in this, but I wanted to try this one. This is so amazing. Mm. my god and like when you bite into it like it feels like it's like so oily like too like like in a good way like it feels so like it tastes so good and it feels thick like not the like skinny like th uh, uh, I'm kind of getting the spice now but yeah like the other ones are so thin and paper thin and they all break out this one tastes so good Oh my god, I'm addicted. Uh-uh, this is going to be my new thing now. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this is my favorite out of everything that I bought. But, but, mm. I also am such a fish person, love seafood, like, love it, love it, love it. So, if you don't like seafood or anything like that, you won't like that, probably. Anyway, this all, yeah, that's all for this video, trying exotic snacks, so... 
I hope y'all like that. If you have any recommendations of videos or what to try, different products, you know, my Instagram is Natchez Thompson, so you already know. Hit me up. I'm open to suggestions. Wouldn't hurt. So, yeah, you already know. I'll see you in the next one.